So, Bomberman. You're a fan of Bomberman, aren't you? I like Bomberman. I know you! You have Bomberman 64. I do. I know me. I play Bomberman 64. Bomberman 64 is hard. Uh, yeah, very Bomberman it is. 64 is a relentlessly difficult, nonsensical game. Especially if you're getting all the cards, baby! Dear God! I've never played a more cumbersome, difficult game, but for some reason it's just it's just fun to play, because there's something about those, these Barman Adventure games. There's another one for the 64! It's called Barman 64 The Second Attack. Oh. So that's more like a traditional Super Bomberman type game, where it's like, you know, top-down, isometric. I, I never played that one. Stuff like that. I, I never played it either. It's like the last one to come out of the kind of a swan song type deal. And it looks just like the original Bomberman, so you could play it with the same fucking game. But then there was a little thing in between called Bomberman Hero! doesn't look anything like Bomberman 64. Well, of course it doesn't. It looks like the 64 graphics. So, this is Bomberman Hero. Okay. What the hell's Bomberman Hero? It's, it's Bomberman Hero. It's a, it's a Bomberman game. It is strictly a single-player Bomberman game. What? Which is why people kind of skip this back in the day. What? It is a strictly single-player story-based Bomberman game where the guy can actually gasp jump. Oh. Actually, that's huge. It's rare that he jumps. He wow, can, he, he can yeah, jump. that's huge. He could jump in Pocket Bomberman, but, uh, but welcome to the Bomber Nebula where all the planets are aligned all the time. There's no sun either. So just infinite darkness. It's just, it's, it's just some planets lined up. Ooh, ooh. Uh, oh, and the guy just fires uh, transplanetary nukes on upon the universe. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. That's a wake up call. See, already we're starting in a much darker scenario uh, in uh, than your typical Bomberman games. Like I remember Bomberman Quest for Game Boy Color. That starts with Bomberman just going through space with all the bad guys that he captured from his last game, and then doop, the engines failed, and then all the bad guys escape on a new planet, and well, he's got to go find them all. I really hope we have a renaissance of extremely cute games with very dark storylines. <laughs> I want to bring those back. I hope they make a decent Bomberman game again. Uh, I mean, didn't you play Super Bomberman R and the one that came after it, I think? Not yet. Bomberman R is pretty fun. But that's like, you're very typical, uh, you know, put a, put a bunch of bomber people in a room, blow up boxes, blow each other up, that stuff. Well. Let's sweep away the dust of Barman nostalgia away for a second and get back to the game at hand! Oh! So, uh, yeah. Princess Milliam is, like... Where, where do I she begin? She got captured! Well, what's the matter to me? I'm just out here. I'm gonna go to Planet Bomber. I'm just gonna hang out in my battle room! What? Welcome to the tutorial area. Let's not worry about the story at the moment. Let's just kinda figure out how things work. You run around, you know. Pretty environment. Oh, okay, okay. And, and 64. There's the jump. You jump. So you can throw bombs like that. That's that's kind of okay, cool. Very cool. Is there a uh, friendly fire to yourself? Of can course you, there can is. Can you hurt yourself? Are okay. you kidding? Of course there is. Just yeah. like always. You know, when you came into this area and I heard the music and saw there was nothing around, I honestly thought you brought a creepy pasta game. Like your Bomberman hero was personalized. <laughs> <laughs> we come into the opening and there are no souls around. There should be a bustling town, but no, it is an empty oh. field. Hey, kick bombs. Okay. Honestly, that's that's pretty good uh, rendering there. See it, uh, okay. Camera, yeah. You know, very nice, so very I'll, nice. I'll go, I'll go stuff. You Old can... fashion, yes. Yeah. I didn't even see that you placed a bomb on top of the tree, you monster. That's what C down does. Hold B to throw a rolling bomb. Oh, yeah! You can see, you can like... Still move around with it and throw some bombs! Okay, that's pretty great. Although the hit detection seems uh, a bit to be desired. Slightly inaccurate. And uh, those birds are just vaporized. They are gone. Would you just... Man, it's so hard to bomb birds. <laughs> Your Bomberman hero is personalized. <laughs> that's the one you can't kill. Oh, okay, I, so that's the basics. Here. Yeah, I think you got everything. You can run, you can bomb, you can jump, you can do all sorts of things that a bomber man can. There we go. Now bomb the door. Oh, okay. I mentioned before that this sounds like 
NES uh, Ghostbusters. Well, it sounds like the original Bomberman theme on NES. So who copied who? It's probably just a happy coincidence. I think it is. Yeah, definitely. Because I think I, I think they'd be if they would be ripping off Gus, uh, Ghostbusters more if it sounded like you know. Do 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 do. What the? Another meteor at this time of day. Feh. Oh hell yeah! Uh, we are. It's the reason why Barman here is on the advent calendar. Is because well, it's a Barman game on 64 that's you know playable. <coughs> well, anyway. Ahem. <coughs> I'd like to tell you that I never beat Bomberman 64, but I did get to the final stage with all cards at that point. But the true winner of the game is the soundtrack. Oh, it's a bop. I'm loving this. Like, as soon as he turned on the game, I was just like, okay, yeah, I got it. If you're a Sonic fan, you're used to having soundtracks sell alone sell a game. <laughs> I think this is Bomberman Hero. So, it couldn't have just been the non-multiplayer, or was that actually the thing that kind of killed the sales of this game? So, I, I mean, that, that might have been something, because, you know, there's been, you know, this, the, the thing about the 64 is that it's, uh, you know, it's it's got four ports on it. You can do yeah. four-player multiplayer. Can't do that on Sega Saturn. Can't do it real quick. You can't do that on PlayStation. I don't know, I never had a Saturn. I mean, unironically, I brought you two controllers because I thought we were going to play multiplayer Bomberman, only to hear that this one did not have multiplayer. So people kind of expected that, sure. What do you do? What the hell happened? Go up, go up. Personalized! No, okay. This is not a creepy pass. this is a nice game, where you bomb innocent things and they shatter into bits. To a oh, hell a good soundtrack. I've forgotten the name of the, uh, of the composer, though. That's alright. I'm sure Post UDJ has something to say about that. Well, what I do remember is that she went on to be like, you know, like a, a, an official doctorate in like Arabian music. What? No. That's awesome. Oh, oh yeah, like like she's one of the leading authorities of it. Oh, that's great. So this whole area act area one act one is just you know a bit of a bit of a tutorial to let you know how the things work. So let's not worry so much about score and just worry about getting to the end. Ow. And not dying in the process. Getting to the end. In the face. As you can see a score up there, you're based on scores, and you get ranked at the end, and you get, like, special bonuses, oh, all that, scores. whatever, you know. It's, yeah, I don't know, maybe a good ending, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. The point is, for the 64, this don't look too bad. I believe I remember... Okay, were you an outside kid? Like, did you play a lot outside, use make-believe? I had my moments. Okay. I was a very outside person. My parents were the ones that you know, kind of took me away from video games and said, hey, go play outside for at least 30 minutes to an hour. And so I'd make the most of that by pretending I was video game characters. Bomberman and the many bosses he had to fight just, like, crowded my mind for the longest time because it blew me away. I was like, well, this is 3D. It's awesome. Well, I went to a daycare, uh, you know, after school. Ooh, gold card. Nice. I went to a daycare after school, and I'd be outside all the time, so I, I, I think it was outside plenty, playing make-believe and all that shit. I think the last time I thought, you know, I, I should go outside and play make-believe before I uh, grow up to be a really annoying adult, okay. was, uh, I actually had a Leon Kennedy jacket, or the one that I called Leon <laughs> Kennedy, and I played pretend Resident Evil 4. It was great. I did it. Oh my god, it's like... It's the secret room! <laughs> oh my god, it's your recording. I knew that was you. you open the tower door, you need four key crystals! So, yeah, this is just, you know, basic, you know, run around, kill the enemies. It's 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 just, you know, your, your basic 90s mascot platformer game that's in 3D. Except, you know, the camera isn't, you know, terrible because it's kind of in a you know, beautiful state. Going back like this is a little bit of a pain. I wonder if I were to go back to Bomberman 64 if I if I would have a difficult time with it. I think that too, but it just felt so obtuse to begin with. And yet, I still managed to figure out- I don't know how I figured it all out, but I, I somehow did. I have no idea either. In fact, I, 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 I call it sus. No, I'd, I'd call myself out. It's like maybe there's the morphogenic morphin, field. <laughs> 
like another me figured it out, and then it's like, I'll pass this knowledge wait, on wait, to wait, another. Wait, you're me. getting all gold cards in Barman 64 is the Mandela effect or something? Probably, it's yeah. Like, another, like you step into another timeline it's or whatever. It's the only thing that makes sense, because I guarantee if I were to turn on Bomberman 64 today, I wouldn't know what to do. Like, at all. Where'd it go? Although I do remember oh, around that time, it. I got Bomberman 64 and Mario 64, because everything's 64. Yeah. But, uh, I remember this was when the internet was just getting big. If I want to make you feel old. And, no, I feel uh, old every day. I mean, I mean, this starts out with a screen that says 1998. See, Ooh. I remember my mom and dad printing off like, little fun things you could do in Mario 64, because yeah. it's still just new. Like, the 3DF Quit. that I showed off in the Let's Play, that you, if you go to Cool Cool Mountain, I think it is, and angle the camera, you can see a 3DF in the background. Why is it there? Who cares? It's there. Man, you just brought back some good memories. I'm glad we're doing Bomberman Hero. So I wanted to bring back, like, this is the oldest game I have that, that we're playing. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I missed the heavy room. It's a secret room that we missed, but let's not worry about it. Let's go to Sky Room! Wow! I do like that there are secrets. I like this song. Were you Why actually you trying to kill him? Like Ooh, wow, a secret thing. I like secret things. What if I get all the secret things? Will the thing happen if I get all the secret things? Well, hmm. It turns into Bomberman 64. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean this, this is just like, you know, a, you know, your basic average uh, platform game. But, uh, you know, you can boast it uh, over the, you know, the, the PlayStation, because, oh, look, I can go from screen to screen and do level level without loading anything. It's, it's, it's constant action, baby. See, I never understood the cartridge versus CD oh, thing, because I was, you know, young and silly and didn't even care. I hope you do now. Oh, I, I do now. No, I totally understand the limitations of both types of hardware. <laughs> but uh, I will say one of the first PlayStation games I ever got was uh, Crash Bandicoot 2 and Spyro the Dragon. And uh, to quote my mom, they look neat. <laughs> God, they look neat. They, they look neat. She, oh, what a, what a neat looking game you got uh, I was there. about to say she pulled to Mark Simpson. I just think they're neat. I just think they're neat. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, cool. I also remember the Christmas I got the Grinch Woo. PlayStation game. Oh my god. You're bringing it all back, man. I this love is, it. Yeah, this is a nostalgia episode. Ah, so. it's great. You know, old, old times, you know. Just, just, just a great feel good little game. I will say there is one thing from my childhood that I have either lost or have gotten rid of, and that's the uh, gold cart of Ocarina of Time. That is unfortunately gone. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I, I managed to get another copy at one point, maybe because I missed it. I was one of those kids that had an attachment to his game, so whenever I sold them thinking, oh, these are baby games, I immediately bought it back because I was like, no, please, give it back. Boom. Are those timed, or are you setting those up? Uh, I don't think there is a time. Some things are timed. Ah! Okay, you don't like to swim. Got it. I thought you immediately died. Oh my god. Yeah. Woo! I did it. I, di I did it. Conglomerations. You did it. Alright, training course is over. Can we get to the story? Give me the bomber pitch. And this is where the difficulty ramps up 90 degrees, and all of a sudden you gotta be throwing bombs with the best of them. There's a power gear to fly. Oh. Fly? Oh yes. That's the other thing about this game. There's like... Vehicles and shit. Woo! This has got vehicle segments just to kind of break up the a the action. Oh bit my bit. god! I kind of love that. So a UFO just landed on the mountain. Go check it out. All right, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Go check it out. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Okay. I'm down for that. Okay. All right. Game crashes. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh no! I run faster in game. What the fuck? <laughs> That lovely pop-in. Mm. Gorgeous. You see the pop-in, I see the muddy textures. Area two. Oh, that's a lot of. Ooh, wow. All right. Oh, cool. Go right. for it, man. Let's get. Let's get through it. Yeah. Ooh. Togulas. 
I have no idea what these enemies are called. They're bad dudes. Oh, bad dudes. I can deal with bad dudes. Oh, my health doesn't reload. That's, that's, uh, Ooh. a little concerning. So we you gotta be a little careful. The difficulty, it comes in. There's the, there's the difficult. Like, I thought that maybe, you know, the bomb, the, the, the bomber secretary or whatever. <laughs> bomber bot. Bomber bot 6000. Complete with Apple Watch functionality. You just... There we go. Good throw. Good throw. Good throw. It is a little hard to judge the distance when you throw a thing. So, does this have the power-ups of 64? Or just, you know, regular Bomber Man, like, uh, remote bombs and stuff like that? I don't think it has anything like that. So it's just, like, a Goemon's Great Adventure light. Essentially. Oh, wow, that was a very short stage. Yeah, but I'm not getting all the clear points, and it's not gonna give me a, you know, the, the game isn't gonna give me a pat on the head for beating all this. But now let's get to our first, uh, vehicle section. Ooh. Over on, over on your base, it says what you need. Ooh, the Bomber Marine! Go, go, go! I thought you couldn't go in water. Well, now we can. Because we have the Bomber Marine! So it takes our little thing, very, very Voltron, very 80s, very, very love it. Very Voltron, yeah! So, of course, it appeals to me. Oh my god, it actually has, like, a, a suiting up segment. I love this. And then all of a sudden you can breathe. So people like to knock the 64 for being very, you know, lacking in power, but... There's some neat stuff you can do. This is nice. How's a control? Inverted? Yeah, it's inverted. Ah, <laughs> yes. You hit Z and you can throw torpedo bombs, which is nice. Oh, they home! And oh, they that's home. brilliant! This is basically the blue, the blue Marine stage in Star Fox 64. Yeah! So, again, right up your alley. I'm noticing that uh, there's not a lot of shadows in here. Like, yeah, I'm thinking back, I actually think back to the Blue Marine stage. Remember how, how, how that was like, you know, entrenched in shadows and yeah, stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. How, how dark it was? This is kind of plain looking. But uh, the action is high, you know, the, the music is, is, is great. Rockin'! It probably took up half the cartridge space. Probably. Oh! And you know, that now, now that I am older and realize how these games were made, the reason there's no shadows is probably because there was way too much polygon happening at the same time. Yeah. Which, it's fine. Because although there were shadows in Star Fox 64, it was also constantly moving. Yeah. Basically an on-rail segment. So Star Fox 64, I have a strange feeling, did the unloading trick, where as soon as it's off the map, you don't need to see it anymore, so they unload it. Well, I can't turn back, so I think they're employing a similar thing here. Good tactics. That, uh, the, the creativity to get their games to run back in the day is astounding. I miss that. And it's just uh, gone. This is gone forever. I'm sorry for the loss. Oh, oh, um, oh big um, crap! Um, um, hey, does it does it die? All right, I can go back. So it's not doing a unloading thing. Um, well, well, well. <laughs> Does this thing die? Hopefully. Uh, I can hope. Uh, it likes to throw bubbles at me. Well, don't let it hit you with bubbles, dude. It's shaking like I'm hitting it. Maybe it's just annoyed? Are you even close enough? You know the shockwave's dead? Yeah, alright. Oh, okay, he's dead. Cool. Alright, good job, team. Fantastic. Good job beating this baby game for babies, ba maybe? I imagine it's not for young, young kids. I still this, think they could wrap their heads around this. It's a challenge. I, I give it. I gave it an E10. Red Cave. Let's go. Bring the stuff. That almost went over. I, I j was just imagining that Bomberman whiffs it. I mean, I can't just press R and just you know. Well, wait. I think I moved away too far from it. Just yeah, seat down twice. Well, that's a big bomb. What do you do? I bet you go real big boom, don't you? Yeah, that's sizable. The, the fact that it had no accompanying sound effect was very creepy. <laughs> Boom. Boom, and there I say, kablam. Kablamo. That's not working. Hit. Yeah! Ah, I saw that. Ah. I want that, though. Give me that! No, no grabbing onto the edges. All right, fine. Boom. Right. This is about completion, not score anyway. Let's go. We're just here to have fun. We're just here to- ah! We're just here to get hurt. Man, uh, We're up all night to get lucky. Shit, shit. Wow, you actually dodged it. I, th I think my bomb actually broke through that. That's awesome. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's perfect. That's perfect. 
This guy needs oh, to go. These things are big. This here. guy needs to go. <laughs> An explosion! Yeah! Oh. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Woo! I'm a hero. So, so when do you want to have the hitbox disappear? Um, I think immediately after it blows up. Oh, yep, yep. I knew it. I knew it. No. No. Oh. oh. Boo. I'm a villain. Bomberman villain. No, I'd play that. I don't know if there are lives in this game or not. I mean, no, there are. There are. And there's your completions for. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, okay. Well. And you only have one collectible. Sheesh. Man, well, can you at least get one more crystal? Man, back in the old days when just the pause screen would give so much information. Now it's just like, hey, do you want to restart? Now it's either contextual information that shows up in certain parts of the menu, or it's, you know. What's my pocket deck? Whatever. So close. So close. So is that a collectible, or is that, like, hyper mode? That's just a whole bunch of points. Ooh, so you, you want to get the full points for this level? I'm pretty sure you're gonna need to get that. Let's let me the reaction play. Okay, fine. Now oh, quick, get up there! What? Okay, place it farther. Should I place it closer? You know, for being bombs, they certainly yeah. don't have a, the longest Ooh. blast radius. That's a secret. This seems like a secret. The bombs hurt. Uh, wow. Just by touching them, they hurt. Oh, they have a poisonous shell. Be careful. And now we're okay. Hey, secret. I did it. I got one clear points. You know, I never knew Bomberman spoke. He spoke in '64, didn't he? So I, I don't remember that part. I don't think he did. I remember the sound effect when you died. It sounds like a baby in the Japanese now. Ah! <laughs> I thought you found a secret! It's just like, oh yeah, I went into the hollow log. Okay, fine. Some stumps are bad. Ah, oh, that's a really bad one. That's, that's actually a great design. Ew, okay. I hate it. Okay, maybe it is a creepypasta. I led you astray. Oh my lord. We're in Spirit Hunter now. This is a... Goku Yakisoba, it's the, the evil demon tree. Not the Goku Yakisoba! <laughs> Exercise it with bombs! Yes! What do you mean the Moku Yakisoba? Oh, God. Oh, Wood. See, you're. I come up with things, you kinda edit them to, to make them usable in this uh, Bomberman Hero Creepy Pasta. And that's just a tornado. Ah, it's coming towards yeah, yeah, me! Yeah, that, that's just a tornado. I, I think we can safely pass by it. Tornadoes being oh, right. exceptional for their safety. Nice on points. Nice on points. Okay, but where do we go from here? Okay. Ah, right. there we go. It's promising. Let's place a little bomb over there. And don't blow up. Okay, which one of these guys is actually a bad guy? Not him. I think they're fine. Oh. Okay. Maybe not that fine. Woo! Oh, hey, okay. There we go. <laughs> awesome! Yeah! I did it! Yeah! Dragon Road! Pardon? Dragon Road! Pardon? Dragon Road! Oh, Dragon Road! Dragon! Oh no! The Whoa! Oh jeez. Okay, this, ah. is, this is the worst possible scenario. Please get out. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, help, 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 help. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That looked like a, a cutlass with a face. I think it is. It is. Oh no. Full health. What's up? Awesome. Yoink. Ow, what? It hit me. I think it was a rock. You just couldn't see it because of sprite limitations. Sprite limitations? Hell well, yeah. Well, if it's sprite limitations, it wouldn't, it wouldn't appear. Oh, that is true. <laughs> now that was just... That was just silly. That was just cruel. That was, that was mean and a big mean. Very 90s. Very 90s. Very 90s. Just, Whoa. just cruel and unusual. Very 90s. I just want to point out that I dodged all those with, by just by flailing around the wall control stick here. Dude, super power gamer. This is why you played all the Goemon games, to be good at Bomberman Hero. Fuck out of here, Geo dude. And it still hit you? I can't believe it. It's because it's Tim throwing rocks at me. This game is garbage. Uh-huh. Abs totally. Absolute trash. No! Down you go. Where you belong. Well, you're right. This game is absolute garbage. 
I, I, I hate it. We should stop playing Amiibo. No, I mean, it's not true. Now, if they brought this to Nintendo Switch Online, I'd be all over it. Oh, no kidding. No kidding. That would be so cool. Even, could, even could, Barman 64. Now, I'd take that. I would take that because I could rewind well, it. Barman 64 with safe states? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can actually have fun. Who do they have to license? And, not, and I bought a guide for Bomberman 64. Oh. <laughs> I bought a guide for Bomberman 64, <laughs> and you know what? I still couldn't figure it out. Oh. Because it's a guide. It's text. It's paper. So it's like, okay, so here's what you do. You go ahead and you go to the east section, then you place a bomb there. Then you blow up a bomb and then you step it on top of that other bomb. And then you throw another bomb so it goes beyond that other bomb. And then you put a bomb beyond that bomb and you make sure it's bouncing on top of that bomb. And then you throw one more small bomb on top of that. And then you throw another big bomb on top of that. And then you have to use another bomb to bounce on top of that and then bounce over there. And then you'll find yourself in a secret area. And when you're in that secret area, and we're like already three pages into how to set up for this bullshit. See, I thought you were gonna go, I got a Brady games and not even they knew how to beat the game. Is Prima games. Prima. Oh yeah, Prima doesn't know. I, I think Prima's fine in the 90s. I think it's Prima. I, I swear, Prima guides, they always had incorrect information. Or am I crazy? Am I, I had crazy? a Star Fox 64 guide that was kind of... They had the wrong names of the planets. Ooh, that's yeah, that's, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Maybe it was the equivalent of just, you know, looking over your shoulder as you're typing it up. It's like, hey, what's that over there? Oh, Venom. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a Planet One. No, they have that one right. It's like, you know... Did I just do a loop? Yes, you did. You fool. You started on the left. You should have gone to the right. Okay, Dragon Road. Well, at least now you've... Well, we can easily avoid the Geo boots now. Yeah, right here. Aha! Oh, I thought that was immediately slide down, which it was, but I made it anyway. I'm cool. Good job! You're no longer a Bomberman Zero. You're absolutely the Bomberman hero. Traveler! Traveler. Uh, he needs ah, to die. Hey, he needs to die. And you need some health, which you got. Alright, Mega Power Gamer. Show me. Oh, Show it. me. I got it. Show me. I remember how this game works. Woo! Hell yeah! Yeah! And that's it! Yeah! Bomb. I did it! man. Hero. I did it! Alright, versus Nitros. Like a little side and mid boss here. He must be here to see the UFO that landed nearby. I am Nitro. I proto Nitro. Ni Nitros, a soldier of the Guard Man! <laughs> I'm the Blue Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> Go back, then shall pass me. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, kind of like Barman 64, where you had the boss fights in between. Yep. You, know, you, you had a reg regular level mini yeah. boss, regular level boss fight. I and actually really like those boss fights. So this is one where it's time, but not really. It, this is just based on how many points you want. Okay, that's a mean attack. Not a fan. I see what you're doing. Then. I like it. Trying to tactical bomberman. Trying to be a little little sneak. Oh, oh. Did I can just kick it? Fuck! Yeah. Okay, now I'm remembering that Bomberman in Bomberman 64 had the voice. Yeah. But he didn't actually, yeah. like, say anything in English. Not really. It's just, huh? Ah, ah, yeah! Oh! Nice hit, nice hit, double hit. Ah, come on, you can take him down. See? Got him right in the face. Gotta hit him, whoa, a few more times, whoa. See, now I'm just realizing you're throwing bombs at a kid. I'm not a kid! I am, uh, I am Nitros! I'm a member Dude, of the Galactian Empire! Blue Falcon pajamas, I, I don't want to hear it. He slid into my bomb and he kicked it away! Well, then you just throw it and hit him square in the, in the eyeballs. You ain't that bad, you ain't that bad! There's supposed to be a way. I, I don't like that they're that the blast radius doesn't actually hit people. That's because my blast radius is too small. If I were to visit other levels and try to get a better time, and you know, maybe I could win. I think you got him in the loop. I think you do, yeah. Ah, he was stuck. And then you hit him right in the face. 
How many times I gotta how many times I gotta kick this guy in the face before I finally kill him? Die. Oh, that should have been it! That should have been it! it should have! Damn iframes! Don't fucking follow me! Die! I thought you were about to oh, lay. I got him. Hey, hey, good job. Why is your health so high? Why is mine so low? How I... fair is that? Wow, I just realized you did that with one health left. Nice. Woo! You still got it. Hey. Yay. Whew! Fuck, this game's exhausting! Oh hey, it's the story from the beginning! Like, we finally caught up to it half an hour in. I am Pybot. Please help Princess Millium. 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 There are a million princesses that Prince you have to save. Princess made up of the Garrett Empire. Princess Million stole the enemy's disc and left by shuttle. Oh my god, it's a Star Wars plot. <laughs> Princess... Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Princess Million stole the the plans, the rebel plans. Bomberman Jedi. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, force pushing bombs? I Oof. mean yeah, I mean yeah. It's fucking sweet, dude. <laughs> I'll rescue the princess for sure. Hell oh, yeah! I never made the connection because there's Mom like a Walker. Darth Vader character at the end. Hell yeah! Luke and the Mom cat Walker. lady, of course. Yes. Perfect. The final area only has four areas. What do you say? You want to wrap this up and finish it? I mean, whatever you want to do. Let's go for it. Do 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 you know what I just realized what? about Geodude's name? Imagine if it came out, like... If Pokemon came out ten years earlier, would it be, like, Georadical? You know the joke, right? Geotubular. Oh, it's a Geode, and it's a dude. Okay. No, no, I understood. I understood. I was hoping. Spend all that time to get the help. It's this one. Ooh, power up. Hey! Fire three. Yeah. And a collectible. And there's the end of the stage. You just have okay. to kill it. That's got no fair. Shoot. What are clowns? Uh, I was about to say dwarves. Of the Snow White variety. Ah. No. Take more than one hit. Oh! Yeah, those are definitely clowns and they're out for blood. Shit. They're so out for blood. <laughs> I've only got so many lives, though. Good job, bozo. And there, and there oh, you wow. go. Wow. Well, well, what's continue get us? How far back? This takes. Uh, oh, it takes you to the, to the end there. Dude, this means that you lost all your gems. If that means anything, I forgot what the gems do. What's your score, man? That's my. Oh my, my score! God damn it! Just score, dude. Oh, shoot. All right, let's try these clowns again. I'm not gonna let clowns best me. I'm not gonna let this nostalgia-laden episode end with death by clowns. It would make logical sense. No, it wouldn't! I mean, how many times have you beaten this game? Twice. Twice? Okay, I've never beaten Bomberman 64, so add our one negative and two positive, and you get one. So, <laughs> for the good of the people, oh. do not die. Alright. 50. Bam. Time to speedrun this shit. Because there's a big boss at the end, Endall. Great Rock. Oh, I get it. Yeah, Dwayne the Rock Johnson is pretty good. Isn't Endall he? life. No, it's, it's a fake stuff. Why would they do that and betray me? Oh, you just got punch gloved in the face. <laughs> oh my God, I, I see the speedrunner. It's another yakisoba. Kill it. There's one cool looking cloud there. They're saying black at you without a pilot. I think I have to drop it. Boom. Nice, dude. Nice. Okay, okay, good. Totally You're cool, not gonna get the best dude. of me. This kind of feels like a NES game, doesn't it? Like a Kid Icarus find the tower. Totally kind of awesome, deal. dude. A little bit. Radical. Kind of enjoying how varied the stages have been so far. Yeah, I'll run with you on that. I like it. Oh, they want you to fall down and go all the way back up. Uh-uh. Ain't nobody yeah. got time for that. Huh? Please. Who, 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 do, do, not get, do not get who? stanked out. Please. I did it. 
fog route. Oh no, fog. This one is the highest frame rate out of all the I was levels just so thinking, far. Yeah. Hey, good job with <laughs> that frame rate, guys. You did it. Oh, oh come on. There were spikes right there. You saw them. You saw them. I hate, I hate where I touch the sides of spikes and it's enough to, to hurt. It's like, you ever touch the point of a needle? Ouch, right? Yeah, very ouch. Yeah. You ever touch the side of a needle? Oh, it's maddening! Oh, god. Ow. Oh, you actually have to call for help. Oh, yeah, I killed. I, I blew up those bombs and I left it. Oh, shit. Location confirmed. Sending supplies. Woo! No! Mmm. <laughs> That was a delayed jump. That was... <sighs> that, that hurts. That's happened to me many a times. I don't know if it's because of the setup, but just... This jump is quite delayed. I... Yeah, I actually don't know what... what... <laughs> just hold on there. There you go. Right. Relax. But look how, look how delayed this is. Check it. About a half second delay. That's rough. I don't, yeah, again, I don't know if it's because of our setup because it's going through a bunch of pass throughs. Surprisingly, only one pass through, so it might actually be. It's still. Yeah, but that pass through could be fatal. No, oh, well, that's, that's true. I mean, it is still turning an analog signal into a digital signal. There's probably going to be some loss on latency here. Whoa. Maybe one day I need to get a CRT. That way we can have the legitimate experience. I have a CRT in my basement. Hell yeah. I kept it on the off chance I might need one someday. Now I have two immovable bricks in my basement that I don't feel like taking out. I don't even know if it works anymore. It's been there for years. Well, those things were nigh indestructible and also weighed 10 million pounds. Like, I have lifted a corner cabinet made of pure oak. CRT TVs are heavier than that. God damn it, no! Can you, can you please kill the thing? I'm gonna try! Hit him! Damn it! Hit him! Fuck! Hit him! Hit him! The Bomberman hero exer- <laughs> uh, Hit him! Experience. Hit him! Taking pot shots. There we go. Now kill him! You actually have to be in the death range. I love it. Fuck that! Hey, there. there you go. Sheesh! Sheesh. Well, there's Granddad. You just killed Grandpa. Grandpa was in my way. He knows better than to ride out like that in front of the, uh, the retirement home. You know better, old man. Get out of my way. It's all worth it to get to the boss that we're gonna immediately die to and try again. Unless you run out of lives. It's our first boss! It's time to end all life on this planet. Who's saying that? Her or him? Yes. Right. Maybe it was millions. How did you get here? I was, I was hoping to get Samus Aran or, or Doom Guy or something, what but... What the hell? You'll do. Oh, it's a carnival float. My hair is an epilepsy warning! <laughs> they didn't have those back then. They didn't have epilepsy in 1998. Nah, didn't even happen. Nah. All you've heard about Porygon? Absolutely fake. Well, that was when it was invented. That didn't show up until 1999. That's true, that's true. <laughs> epilepsy, total fabrication. Lies of the media. Wait, stop! Throws the bomb! Oh, oh, no, wait! <laughs> Oh, oh. He gets stuck in the force field and Princess <laughs> Million blows up into a million oh. pieces! And Nitro just goes, ow. Uh, ow. Here it comes! Oh, he's got electroshock. Alright, bring it, freak. Right. Yeah, you got it, come on! Who? 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 Uh, what? When? Oh, okay, there. Where? Why? Sometimes how? And there yeah, it goes. Okay. What? There it goes. <laughs> what are you going to do? A valiant attempt. Uh, valiant attempt. I realize another thing a game over does is it takes away the amount of bombs and power of yeah. your bombs that you've accumulated. That's nice to know. Means I can only really throw one bomb at a time. 
Oh god, that means it's gonna take, Damn a, it! take a long Fuck! time. Ow. You should have totally gotten hit by that. You kidding me with this? Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Phase two. Got it. Cool. Sweet. Nice. Ah, uh, now he walks. He walks. Uh, oh. All right. Oh, nice. Attack. That's nice. That's cool. Does <laughs> he constantly throw it at him? I love it. Oh my God! You can actually dodge it. Yeah, they wouldn't make an impossible boss this early on. Come on, it's for kids. Not hit. Oh my yeah, god, you got it! Yeah! Look at all that cash money! money. Cash money. money! Cash money right in your face! Four points. Not the full five, but not bad. It's a triumphant way to end. I can't do a D2. My lips, they're too dry. He's on, on Primus Star. Optimus Primus. You know, I'm, I'm glad we live in a world where interplanetary travel is just so easy. In real life or in Bomberman Hero? In Bomberman Hero, I mean, it's like, oh, oh she's on planet, uh, the, um, the, the, the Primus stars. So let's go there. Oh my god, they got a convertible. <laughs> Please put the, the sheet over your head. Unless Bomberman can breathe in space. He can breathe in space. Gotcha. Then it tallies up all your points and gives you a little award. Good job. And we, I think we got just enough to get the lowest rank. So, fuck yeah! What's up, team? Go, Team Red! Bonus go stage! Team yeah, go, Red. go, go! Bonus stage! Bonus! We'll do a bonus, bonus! It's a bonus stage, bonus! Hooray for bonus, bonus stage! Yay, Sounds like you're just yeah. saying bonus. Bonus! I like to bonus, bonus! Gotta like get to these bonus. crystals, bonus! Gotta get these bombs, bonus! Actually, it's got a kick-ass song in here, too. Even though it's the one we've already heard. Is that it? Oh, we missed a couple crystals. Gotta get these crystals, they're right. Nah! Whatever. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can go from plant to plant and all that, and that's the rest of the game over there. And there's one more in the distance. Well, that's alright. That's, that's Barman Hero! That was just a fun little game. That was fun. If you can, if you can find it, you know, I, 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 I recommend it. There's the worst Barman games you could play out there, like Barman 64. <laughs> bring it to Switch Online, please, thank you. Bring, Switch Online. bring Barman to Switch Online. That'd he deserves it. Come on. Yeah, he does. Anyway, what you got for me? Well, here's what you deserve. This, okay. This lovely thing. Just We've had a brilliant time. Tear this I open. figure we should have some oh! fun. <laughs> Why are you making me play these? <laughs>